Since mankind began sending missions to investigate the enigmatic world of Mars, many bizarre things have been seen. Four Martian rovers were launched to the Red Planet by NASA, including Curiosity, which landed there in 2012 and is still exploring. Since then, several images have been carefully examined by alien hunters who have made astounding claims. Some claim to have observed evidence of life, such as human bones, hidden passageways, the Star Trek emblem, and even a gigantic mouse on the planet. What are the amazing findings from NASA, the unbelievable ones found on Mars? Let's find out. Dildo discovered on a rocky surface. Since it began exploring Mars in 2012, NASA's Curiosity rover has found a number of peculiar and intriguing findings. The most recent of these is a rock that resembles a dildo. The rover captured images of Martian geology as it was investigating the Gale Crater. The strange discovery was made by independent space writer Paul Scott Anderson after some of these photographs were publicly available. In response to Anderson's tweet about the rock, users on Twitter started to upload pictures of what they imagined the rock to look like. Nonetheless, other people thought the rock looked more like a high heel or a shoehorn than a dildo. The topic of how exactly the granite had developed and why it seemed so smooth rapidly came up in conversation. The scientific consensus that water once existed on Mars offers one possible solution. Crater lakes once surrounded the planet millions of years ago, and when they were full, the water would overflow, carving the valleys that are today visible on the surface. The granite may have been worn over billions of years if it came from a crater lake or river. Or perhaps the Martians merely desire to get their rocks off. Angelic figure on Mars, there is an angel close to the South Pole, whereas Santa Claus may reside at the North Pole on Earth. The Mars Express spacecraft's image of the Red Planet was examined by the European Space Agency, which discovered an ethereal shape in surface patterns. This image shows the defined wings of an angelic figure, complete with a halo, sweeping up and off the top of the frame. A heart-shaped feature was also noted by the Space Agency beneath the angel's wings. The black sands in this Martian dune area are what gives the scene its rich colors. The image has a lot of geology on exhibit. A sublimation pit, a seasonal phenomenon that happens when the ice melts into vapor and leaves a pronounced depression behind, is most likely the angel's hand off to the left. The head and halo are formed of an impact crater created as a body from space flew inwards to collide with Mars's crust, said ESA. Deposits from various layers left behind by this impact allow us to see underneath the surface. Fine, scratch-like marks in the surrounding landscape are the telltale signs of dust devil action on the windy planet. The science is fascinating and the creative manner that ESA has interpreted the forms is a nice way to celebrate the discovery. As opposed to finding Mr. Hankey the Christmas poo from South Park on Jupiter, it's also a lot more endearing. Star Trek vs. Star Wars Starfleet appears to have arrived first, despite our grand ambitions to deploy Earth's first humans to Mars. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter captured images of a massive formation resembling the organization's well-known Chevron logo amid the vast Hellas Planitia. Regrettably, there is no proof of daring explorers fearlessly venturing into uncharted territory. Meanwhile, Chevron forms are actually quite frequent on Mars. They frequently develop from flow, which frequently occurred in the past on the Red Planet. This specific chevron is the result of a long-ago volcanic eruption at the base of an impact basin. Here, the wind carved the sand into crescent-shaped dunes, known as Barshan dunes, and as the lava poured, it split around them. Around the sand dunes, the lava solidified as it cooled. Nonetheless, the Martian winds persisted and soon the dune sands dispersed, leaving just the lava in their place. Although these castings are known as ghost dunes on Earth, their existence on Mars has just lately been investigated. The Alien Doorway What appears to be a neatly carved out gateway nestling in the Martian terrain was visible in one of the most recent images returned from the Curiosity rover on Mars. We're almost tempted to start thinking that the doorway doppelganger goes to a little Martian hideout or possibly a passage to a completely different universe because it is so uncannily convincing. 
Moreover, this has a tunnel to the centre of the globe. The image and the geological feature it captures appear to be sufficient to serve as the basis for at least one or two science fiction films. According to scientists, this is most likely a shear fracture, which occurs when a strain on the rock causes a portion of it to break off. A Mars quake or two may have assisted in this process. In actuality, the biggest tembler ever recorded on Mars occurred on May 4, 2022, and researchers are still trying to determine where exactly it occurred and what caused it. It's also likely that the cavity shown in the door-like rock formation is only a few centimeters or inches tall in real life, but it's impossible to tell from the image. We have seen some incredibly bizarre and beautiful images of Mars during the years that we have had access to close-ups from landers and orbiters, including craters filled with ice, strange chevron-shaped rock formations, hollowed-out mountains, and many more. It's crucial that we don't overreact to what hazy photographs can sometimes imply when it comes to eerie finds in space that resemble alien structures. Stick-like figures Curiosity captured some intriguing rock formations in a published photograph that the crew described as stick-like figures, which is exactly what the internet needed to declare there was proof of life there. Depending on where you acquire your conspiracy theories, a fast Google search indicates that they are either fossils or traces of an old society. Scientists are interested in the zone's overall chemical composition. The scientists chose to prolong the time Curiosity was to spend studying the terrain since the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter discovered bluer colors in this area compared to those in the surrounding ones. The Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer on the rover was used to determine the composition of the stick figures and another object nearby. As soon as the instrument comes into contact with the sample, helium nuclei, the alpha particles, and X-rays are released. Due to the different ways in which the surface material loses electrons as a result, scientists are able to determine the sample's composition. In order to better understand the region's unusual color, Curiosity also utilized its ChemCam to make broader studies of it. We are currently analyzing the data from all of these observations, so we will soon learn exactly what these structures are and maybe gain some insight into how they formed. The nearly 2,000-day-long ascent of Mount Sharp by Curiosity is situated in the heart of the Gale Crater, an ancient Martian lake. The rover is gradually revealing how the red planet's ecology transformed over billions of years from a water-rich world to the icy dry desert we observe today. Our understanding of Mars's early solar system geology has greatly increased thanks to these images and scientific data collected by the mission. But unfortunately, no excitement, no people, and no fossils. Weird spaghetti-like objects on Mars The Perseverance rover on Mars noticed a tangle of an unusual object. It resembled spaghetti or a type of string somewhat. A rover camera angle from July 12 showed the enigmatic object, but a subsequent view from July 16th of last year showed it had vanished from its location on the sandy ground. In February 2021, Perseverance made a stunning entry into the Jezero crater. The EDL system, which stands for Entry, Descent and Landing, delicately dropped it down on the ground before scurrying off to crash in a spot where it wouldn't harm the rover. As anticipated, EDL made a violent landing, dispersing debris over a broad region. According to NASA, the operations team has logged about six suspected pieces of debris in a region known as Hogwallow Flats. Some of these debris pieces have been photobombing the rover's images. According to NASA, the object that resembles a string is probably a shredded piece of Dacron netting. Thermal blankets made of the substance, a form of polyester fiber, are used to control equipment temperatures during strenuous and spicily hot landings on Mars. The team said it found this particular piece of netting appears to have undergone significant unraveling or shredding, suggesting that it was subjected to strong forces. The distance that some of the debris has gone is astounding. At 1.24 miles or 2 kilometers from the rover's current location, the EDL crashed. Although wind is more likely to be to blame for moving the debris over that distance, 
NASA speculated that the collision may have dispersed particles into the air. The fact that the noodle-like thing vanished suggested that it was light enough to be blown around by the gusty winds in the crater on Mars. There are some minor worries about the trash that is accumulating at Hogwallow Flats, despite how amusing it is to observe unexpected items encroaching on the Martian environment in the rover's photographs. NASA is not currently concerned. The rover team is monitoring reports of debris and making sure that none of it becomes entangled with the rover. Even if there aren't any noodles on Mars yet, scientists can continue to play a great game of spot the debris while they explore the Hogwallow Flats. Spoon Man Although researchers ponder if there is proof of previous life on Mars, other vital concerns remain. Some of us are left to ponder more common queries like, was there ever soup on Mars? Some keen-eyed space enthusiasts have discovered a big spoon on the dusty surface of Mars, albeit it may not be the indication of intelligent life that we have been waiting for. Secure Team, a YouTube channel, first noted the Martian silverware in a March 2016 photo shot by NASA's Mars Curiosity rover. Is that a spoon or a trick of the eye? The Curiosity rover of NASA produced the questioned image. The sighting was reported by UFO Hunter, who speculated that it might be left over from a lost civilization. Even though it seems exciting, the more likely explanation is that it is simply a peculiar spoon-shaped piece of the typical Martian landscape. The discovery of spoon-shaped rocks on Mars is not new. Others discovered a floating spoon rock on Mars in September 2015. At the time, NASA's Mars Curiosity tweeted, There is no spoon. This weird Mars feature is likely a venti fact, a rock shaped by the wind. Winds and dust storms that travel the planet and shape most of the Martian geology created the rock's elongated shape. There are several peculiar-looking rock and dune formations that we don't find back home on Earth due to the differing atmospheric conditions found on Mars, such as lower gravity than Earth. Its remarkable similarity to a kitchen tool is only a parallax error or trick of the mind. This phenomenon occurs when people perceive a pattern or meaning where none actually exists. It's similar to how people perceive patterns in seemingly random cloud formations in the sky. The offbeat conditions on Mars and a fair dose of pareidolia appear to be the reasons why humans have seen everything on the surface of our nearest planetary neighbor, from mice to pyramids to Buddha. Perhaps one day we'll come across a complete set of cutlery, allowing us to host a proper dinner party on Mars. Just make sure you invite the planet's primordial deities. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.